Hey, Dave here with a portable door and gate. So, a while back ago, I don't even know how long ago it was, I ended up making a video on um, this uh, Genie opener here. And I actually got a lot of comments on it, which I really appreciate. I think it's um, very helpful because uh, people were commenting on the photo eyes being problems. I got, hang on a second. Had to get rid of those stinking cats. They're driving me nuts when they're sitting there meowing at the end of your feet or bottom of your feet. So anyways, I did a uh, review on this uh, Genie screwdriver opener. And I ended up just kind of going through the video again real briefly. And um, it started making me think about uh, kind of updating that video. That update, uh, that video is kind of, uh, had some good pointers. But there's some things I want to teach you. I want to teach you about these Genie screwdriver openers that I've learned my experience, right? So <laughs> it's kind of funny because I I felt like I've always used to kind of bash Genie, and now I feel like Genie's kind of our saving grace right now. I've been having so many problems with LiftMaster. Um, I don't even know where to start. Circuit boards. I, I honestly feel like these people <sighs> promote. The Wi-Fi and phone apps more than they worry about trying to get the garage door to function to go up and down. That's just my opinion. I mean, comment below what you think. I'd love to hear it. If you're experiencing troubles with the LiftMaster, I'm just letting you know. If you are, if you are having problems with LiftMaster garage door openers, you're not alone, brother. I, I understand. And that's why I jumped off the ship because I just can't trust them. Too many callbacks. And if you don't already know, callbacks cost us greenbacks. You don't even, I don't even think guys know in the garage door industry um, what callbacks do to you. You know what I mean? You think about it. You get a callback. The customer's not happy. You're upset. You got to go back. Um, now the lost productivity. When you're driving out to that customer, you're stopping there. You got to fix it. You got to call tech support. That's the clock running. You guys don't understand. The clock is running and you're not getting paid for it. You're doing free work when you could be out installing a garage door, another opener, being productive. And then what happens now, too, if you get in an accident while you're out there? Anyways, I'm ranting. Sorry. Okay, so the Genie Garage Door Openers. I figured this out at a buddy's house a while back ago. Um, I stopped over there. I actually got him a garage door opener for, uh, for a wedding day gift. And uh, <laughs> kind of weird, right? I know. Um, anyways, and we hooked his, we hooked his uh, photo eyes. His photo eyes. He had the genie, a little bit newer style here. You know, with those uh, bullet looking photo eyes. And we hooked him up and it was blinking. It had this weird intermittent like blink to it. And I was, I was to be darn, I've told him, I said, I've experienced this before, this blinking. And I said, I said, guess what? Since you're my buddy, we're going to figure it out. Plus we had a few beers, so it, it didn't, it didn't hurt to stay a while, right? So um, we ended up, uh, I figured it out. What it was is he had a door set up. Now I can't show you because um, <laughs> I got the old sear, right? The old sears that doesn't need photo eyes. I'm just saying, but that's because, you know, whatever, anyways. Um, but this one, this genie here, this genie has the photo eyes. So just imagine this is a, a Chamberlain, right? Uh, with the photo eyes. They were interfering with each other and I didn't know that. I've installed these for years and I didn't know that when you have an intermittent blink on those eyes, I'll tell you up here for a second, my arm's getting tired. So when you get an intermittent blinking with those eyes, the red one in particular, because that's the, typically the one that has, um, that's blinking, um, the green one normally just stays solid, is that if you're getting a blink every once in a while, or it's just consistent, but the garage door still works, right? That's what really confused me. That's what blew my mind. I didn't understand. I said, how the heck does this thing, you know, I'd do it for customers. I go, oh, it's just, it's just blinking. And they go, well, is it supposed to blink? I go, uh, I think so. I don't know. I, it's working. And then if I crossed it with my foot, it still would reverse the door. So I didn't see a safety hazard. I would just, eh, it works. I don't know why this one blinks. Maybe somebody built this one on a Monday and this one was built on a Friday. I don't know. So I went with this, right, for quite a long time, but I figured out from his job that it's, it's interfering with another photo eye. It's picking up another photo eye. 
So it's catching that other photo eye. So we sat there, we monkey, we adjust, we measured, we did everything we could to get those photo eyes lined up and perfect. And it was until I finally said, let's just try to swap them. We swapped it, problem went away. The eyes, you could, you could have a lot more range with them. They'd pick up, there was no weird blinking, right? So now, get this. I haven't shared this one with anybody. I was at um, a commercial customer. We, uh, we installed a commercial jack shaft opener. And uh, when we installed it, I noticed when I was coming down in the lift, I seen the light on the, the photo, I blink once or twice, right? But it wouldn't consistently blink. And I just kind of went, that's weird. And then when you get down on the ground, it was almost like you would sit there and stare at it and it wouldn't have no problems. I adjusted it a few times in that, but come on guys, I'm not an idiot with photo eyes. I've been doing this for years. So, and a, and a couple times up and down with the scissor lift, I'd see it a few times just on the corner of my eye. I see like, you know, you know how you're doing that? Like, did that just, did you, did you looking at the next guy? Did that just blink or is that just, am I losing my mind? But it did, it blinked. So, um, I went back there to do a uh, warranty call, which was totally my fault. I didn't change the wall button. Yep, I was lazy. And I didn't change the wall button. The wall button froze up on it. So the wall button had was the issue with it. But when I was there, I was trying to diagnose any other kind of problems because the customer kept saying it'd be like when the door was up, it wouldn't want to go down. Now what was happening is that wall button was so gentle. It, I know he was touching it and that's why he even recommended. He said, I don't know if I should change that wall button. He just didn't know. Okay, boys and girls, we got our Genie Jack Shaft opener up there, and I want to show you where we screwed up. This is this is totally my fault. They send you a brand new three button, right? When you get the operator, and I should have totally changed it out. This was laziness on my part. We didn't change this button out, but I kid you not, I'm gonna run it. You, I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but hear it running. Watch how sensitive this thing is. It just stopped. Barely, not even hardly pushing that stop button. You're gonna hear it again. Just listen for the noise of the opener. Door's running. It's almost like it just detects your finger being there. Not even pushing it. That's how sensitive that stop button is. I believe that's what's causing our problem. Just stopped again. But watch, I'll push open. Runs, it's running fine. Just stopped. Just with a little touch of a finger like that. Isn't that pretty amazing at the door? It's giving me that kind of grief over not changing a wall button. Oh well, I'll change it out. We'll see if it fixes it. But anyways, so anyways, I called I called tech support and I said something to him about. Uh, I said, hey, you know these photo eyes. I said, I see this thing blink every once in a while. What what? And uh, the lady there was telling me that sometimes she goes, is there security like security cameras or any kind of Wi-Fi around? And I said, well, I said the office is not too far away. And she says the Wi-Fi can interrupt with those photo eyes. I never, just mind-blowing, right? I never even thought about Wi-Fi or internet interfering with these things. Would have never thought about it. But she says she sees it quite a bit. So it can happen. So I just want to let you know that in case you're ever out there and you're buying maybe a transformer or a high-voltage area. And, and it doesn't sound like it just pertains to um, Genie openers. It sounds like it's just across the board uh, with any kind of photo eyes. So I wondered when maybe, and I said it to her, but you know, she probably just thought I was loony. But I said, you know, maybe it could have been when the lift, you know, when the lift is energized, it's, 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 you know, stuff puts off frequencies, if you don't know that. And uh, maybe the energy from that lift when I was going up and down was putting out enough of a pulse um, that was causing that photo eye to blink like that, because otherwise it wasn't a problem. So just something to um, think about, because... You know, I don't even know if, you, you know, some of you guys probably know this. <laughs> uh, I figured it out. I wasn't dealing with Genie. So if any of you guys were dealing with Genie or know about Genie having light bulb issues, comment below, because I'd really like to know if they were having the same problem with LiftMaster. And, and if I'll tell you, if, if you don't know, when I was installing LiftMaster, remember when we used to have regular incandescent bulbs, you know, just regular bulb, bulbs that get hot, you burn your fingers on them. Well, they switched over to those, uh, uh, those curly Q light bulbs. I don't know, they're fluorescent curly cube ones, the ones that look like a little pig's tail wrapped up. Anyways, when they switched over to that, they were having problems with the garage door openers opening automatically. I wasn't dealing with Genie at that time, but
But all of a sudden, I was installing these lift masters and, you know, telling everybody how great they are. And I kept getting all these callbacks of people going, my garage door opened randomly. I think my, my neighbor has the remote or the code or they, 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 theirs is programmed to mine. And come to find out, it was those light bulbs. Every time I kept going back, I'd tell a customer, i go, what happened? Or i go, I'd see a, a different light bulb, especially in the two-headed units. And they'd say, well, you know, we just started having this problem. And i go, well, when did you change that light bulb? Mm, about a week ago. i go, well, when did you have the problem? about a week ago it's that light bulb and i personally learned about it at my own house because i had a um actually the same situation right here i had this style light uh, without that fancier cover on right that was this far away from that opener and i could not figure out for the longest time that when that light was on my garage door opener would would automatically go up and down just intermittently it wasn't every five minutes or whatever. it just awesome it could be 10 minutes later it'd be 20 minutes later it could be three minutes later the garage door was going up and down and i was like what the heck is going on and I remember I ended up putting a cover on that light right here, just a piece of shield. I actually took an old cover off an opener. Problem solved. I never had a problem ever again with that opener. So these, these lights and that emit things, and now I didn't even think about the whole Wi-Fi thing. So if you're having problems with Genie Photo Eyes, um, I just want to tell you that those couple quick little tips. It could be a source of energy. It could be Wi-Fi. It could be a security camera. Um, things of that nature could cause that to be having an issue with blinking. And I never knew this stuff, so I'm just trying to let you know. And then also, um, if you have a pair of doors and you got those eyes facing each other, the, you know, kind of, you might have to flip-flop some stuff to get that blinking to stop because it's not supposed to blink. It's weird because with Genies, it'll work. Uh, LiftMaster, if they get that glitch in them, they typically don't work. It's kind of weird. But it's just kind of weird. I was looking at that video and I was thinking how we've kind of switched from using LiftMaster now to Genie. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see in another year or two or three or five what my opinion is, uh, you know, <laughs> when we get to that point. Uh, maybe we'll be trying to see if Sears, I know you guys always like seeing the old Sears. Maybe Sears can start making a, can start making a uh, old opener on it. So anyways, I got to get back to it. Hope you guys are doing great today. Take care. Subscribe, like, share, thumbs up. Is that real hard? Like this, thumbs up. Just one little click of a thumbs up. Thanks, you guys. Take care. We'll see ya.